So we gotta be careful. This is this is the first of the broadcast of the How to Be a Man channel. First live chat, first time, right? First, first time, time live, and we didn't fuck it up like we did with the other channels. But yeah, tonight we're gonna be tonight we're gonna be discussing what's better: the Flatheads or the fucking Phillips. Okay, Flatheads or Phillips, everybody. Flathead well, screwdrivers or Phillips head screwdrivers. Well, let's, what do you let's, say, Josh? Okay, how about I go like this? How about I count what I have of each in front of me right now? How's that? I have a lot of screwdrivers in front of me. So let me count them all. Okay, I got one. On. I got one in front of me, and all I need is one. Okay, hold on. I got a few. I have so, several tools in front of me, but my, all I need is one screwdriver. So for, scr for screwdrivers, I have six Phillips and five flats actually in front of me. Six Phillips and five flats. Now, now, Josh, in your experience in mm -hmm. screwing in screws, have you ever popped the head off a screw? Many, many times. Well, not pop the fucking thread, pop the head, you name it. Now, were the screws flat heads or were they Phillips heads? They were Phillips. Or were they both? They were Phillips. Well, but I would say okay. it's happened to both, but the majority is going to be the Phillips. Phillips. Majority. Because... They're not as strong as the flatheads. The flatheads they make with stronger material. Mm. They use better metal on the flatheads. Well, see what um, I did. I have a flathead screwdriver right here that I turned to make into a Phillips. You see how I bit the middle off that bitch? Oh yeah. You see that? that that's a great handy dandy thing because you get that at star heads. You can get that in the fucking tri points and everything. It's a great tool to have. What's that? All you need right here. Flathead, son. Flathead, but what if the, what if the Phillips now, is too small? Well, you know, if I need a Phillips head, I'll just use my drill. Bzz, 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 so that's bzz, a whole bzz. different fucking live stream. We're on screwdrivers, tight not drills. No, well, a screwdriver's like if I'm gonna screw in a screw, okay. If I'm gonna like actually crank in a screw, I'm not doing the Phillips, my dude. Man beer. Haven't had that in a while. Man beer. Yes, I, I gotta be Josh, a Josh, honestly, I'm not gonna crank in a screw handheld unless it's a flathead. Now, when you put your when when you put your uh your little uh what you call it the the uh the electrical sockets in, mm -hmm. gonna, you get a flathead for the screw. Now, some of the newer stuff they got Phillips heads, and you get the they little do. Phillips head, but I'm gonna tell you something. There's nothing stronger than a flathead screw. I've been in construction since let let's see, uh, I was 12 years old, so that was 1980. Let's see, wait, uh, let's see, I was 10 and 82, 84. I've been in, in working construction in and out since 1984. I've done it all, man. I've seen it all, and I'm gonna say. Phillips head screwdrivers and Phillips head screws, they're okay for the deck. They're going to break on you. They're mm -hmm. okay for sheetrock. They're fine for sheetrock. Um, you know, if, if you're doing metal studs, you know, you can use your Phillips head. But if you want well, something strong, if you want some something strong in your wood, and if you want it, you got a flathead, man. Flathead screws are built better. The metal is better. The threads are better. And, um, you, you know, I, I've seen those Phillips heads that are coated, like the, those deck screws, and they're coated. Yeah, so those are just. But they are weak as hell, man. Snap a those flat right head off. screw, a flat head screw is way stronger. And I would much rather use my flat head screwdriver than a Phillips head any day of the week. I I have to agree with you on that one. I have to agree. Try now, to... if you're talking, if you're doing, you know, Phillips heads are great for speed. Yeah. You know, um, if you want to, uh, you know, put up some sheetrock, use your Phillips head. You know, um, I would say like Phillips head. I would call them the ladies of the screw world. Yeah, they're like the, tr the, the they're like the LGBT community of screws. Oh yeah. Oh, we have a turner malfunction, buddy. 
Uh oh. That's an easy fix. See, there's another thing on the How to Be a Man show. You gotta fix things on a fly, you know? Listen, man, you, you know what? You know what you have to do is adapt yeah, and overcome. Yeah. Adapt and Whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, you're gonna run into problems and you have to adapt and overcome. And cold beer for the working man. Cold beer for working man. Because here at the How to Be a Man channel, we have the cold beer for the working man. See, the whole thing is if you do the whole work during the day, you're going to need that cold beer afterwards. You get thirsty, man. Listen, man. You know, I, I remember waking up at 5 in the morning to get to work at 7. Mm. Okay. I woke up. I wasn't one of them take a shower. Fuck that. Like, in the morning to go gonna, to fucking you're gonna smell me site. when I go to work. You're gonna smell I me. Came, yeah. Well, I came home and took a shower and then I went, you know, I ate like went to bed, whatever. Uh so I, I woke up at five o'clock every fucking morning. And let me tell you something, Josh. Before I got my first couple paychecks, I slept on a cot. Okay. And when my alarm went off, I would go to reach to turn off my alarm and the cot would collapse <laughs> on the floor. Two months every day, but you know what? That's what a man does. When I lived in Atlanta, was working there. I slept on a hot old hospital mattress, an old used one. You know, I slept in a, a dirty basement in Wilmington, Delaware, with you know. Oh, cool. uh, aren't you doing that right now? Well, yeah, but this basement isn't dirty. Oh, okay. Sorry. And uh, I'm to I'm talking about like inner city basement. Where? Oh shit! I lived on Sycamore Street, yo, Brown Town, North Wilmington. What's up? Okay. Um, but you know, you Josh, you got to do what you got to do, man. Listen, I've worked the shittiest jobs you can imagine. You know, I I, I had to clean out like ladies' bathrooms, and they have like Ooh. little tampon containers, and there's usually like a little bag in there, right? Ooh. And you just take out the bag, but every once in a while, there was no bag in there, so you had to put on the gloves and go. Bwah! And pull out dirty tampons, but you know I what? How to be a man? That's what a man does. You got to. That's the job. You make you a paycheck, man. man. You, yeah, you got to. You got to clock that dollar. Get that screw. Gotta make a paycheck, man. It doesn't matter what the fuck you're doing. Uh, you gotta make your rent. You gotta, you know, get some ramen noodles, guitar strings. You know, yeah, I mean, right. whatever you need. Let me. I want to show you something from yesterday's How to Be a Man. We didn't put an episode up. Oh, no. You probably won't be able to oh, see it. How to Be a try. Man is a hockey fight. That's How to Be a Man is getting to a hockey fight. Okay. Can we see it? Oh, hold, on. Oh, hold on. Can you see the smoke detector? No, you can't fucking see it. Oh, where is it? I can't fucking see it. Can you see the smoke detector or no? No, I can see the door and a light that's blasting me in the eyes. Well, yeah, you can see it right there, right? Oh, there it is. I see it. Yeah, we spent the better part of the day yesterday. Small and all them hardwired smoke detectors throughout the house. Now, Josh, do they hit the carbon monoxide too, or is it just smoke? They do. Okay, so it's carbon hit. monoxide too. Oh yes. Yeah, you got to have that, my man. You got to have those good smoke detectors and stuff because you got to have to be protected in your family. That's what men do, you know. Now, Josh, can we talk about some tools? Yeah, are we done with screwdrivers? Let's move on to hammers. Hammers. What kind of fucking hammers do you like, buddy? Here. We got All right. I'm going to show you. I got a lot of hammers. But I bought you my, my favorite hammer. The hammer that motherfuckers was like, yo, busting my balls about and said, you know, your hammer, blah, 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 blah. Uh oh, I got I got one. No, not one. Not like that. Yours is more cloth. Wood handle. Josh, look at this, man. You got that wood handle. Look, look, look. Look at that, man. Look at this one. That's a ball peen hammer. Ball peen? That's a good hammer, though. This is a framing hammer, my dude. I would I would go to work and frame. Sixteen frame. ounce of fuck you, motherfucker. Check I'm gonna put. Out. I'm gonna drive a ten penny nail with two swipes. Look at this frame of hammer, 1.6 ounces. 
I would go to work. You know what's I funny, Josh? You know what's funny? Now, uh, could, oh, it's 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 going to be very hard for me to teach this because I know like most men out there don't know how to swing a hammer. No. Because they they do the the old the old t t t you know like they 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 go like this tink 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 tink. No, men, when you're swinging a hammer, grab it, right? Mm. You got your and you got a shoulder, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you rise up and bang. You don't go tink, tink like swat like you. You you raise up and you bring your whole shoulder and everything into it. You use right. you, you use the weight of the hammer and your leverage to your advantage. Right. And and like you don't sit there with your elbow, like you bring it up and you know, like you have your shoulder and that just bang. And you know what? I know dudes that can play that they can bury a ten penny in one swipe. I could do that. I could do it in two. I, I used to be able to do it in two. Because I, I wasn't like when we were doing our fire trick dick training, they gave us these big hammers. I think they call them sledgehammers. Oh, no, they're the back of axis. So we were doing, they were teaching us how to swing properly. If you've got to bust doors open, you got to let all the weight of that motherfucker tool catch its weight. You know, you just catch that in the air, and that way it has all the fucking force and leverage behind it. Well, you, know? you know what? It's like, you know, swinging a baseball bat. Oh, call um, beer for the working man. For the working man. Now, men out there, mo most men out there, you know, played baseball. We all grew up playing baseball. Um, when you're swinging a baseball bat, okay, you don't use your arms and just swing like this. What you do is you turn you you turn your hips, and you know where your power comes from, Josh. Your hips, and, and your hips, and your fucking legs. Oh yeah, you turn into and, that son bitch. And, and you know, so Josh, it's just like if if you're a fireman and you got to crank something. You just like you use your core and your legs, and you explode. Pow! You, you don't know? even really got to use any force doing it, though. You're just and, and, not using all and that. You're not gonna hurt yourself. You're not gonna hurt yourself. It's like lift with your legs. I know so many dudes that lifted with their back, and they're like, "Oh, my back hurts. I have to take two weeks off from work." I'm like, first of all, if you get a back injury, you're stupid. And second of all, it's like mostly mental. And third of all. It's sheetrock, stupid. <laughs> How stupid are you? How you, <laughs> you can't touch sheetrock. You're doing sheetrock. That ain't good. Now, now let's talk about sheetrock. This is your sheetrock knife right here. This is all you need. The guy accidentally just set off that smoke detector. You know. We're going to set it off. Hold on, buddy. You know what? This is a framing square, everybody. And and the only reason I have this gay plastic framing square is because mine got jacked from me and I was about to kill. Oh, 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 oh. What are we pulling out? What are we pulling out? Sheet rock Wait a minute. What are we pulling out? Sheet rock? <laughs> I was going to talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh, your beard's beard. Oh, everybody. If you're going to do sheet rock, all you need is one of these. Okay, oh. and you get some extra blades. Mm. Nice little it's a utility knife. <clears throat> it's not a box cutter. It's not it's a utility knife. There you go, Josh. That's Look, gay. I, but... I, have, I have a folding one. So that's not a construction site one. You probably get arrested for that. But you know, this is th this is what you know. <clears throat> so and look, you got your screw, which if you could, Josh, if you could see the screw, uh, see it's it. kind of, but it, it's a, it's not a, it's not a, it's a flat head. It is. Know, flat head there. And then, you know, if you, if you got to change your blade, but this is your sheetrock knife and you like, you cut the sheetrock and I, I can use one of these, right? But T squares are really good. They're like the framing squares, like those mm. big ones. Um, Oh no! Can so you see them? Can you can you see them all sitting right there? All the levels and the squares. Well, I can't, but maybe maybe the men that are watching can. Oh. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. If you have that for sheetrock, all you got to do is put a line. You you take your tape measure. You know, boop, you put a line. You put that up. Zip and hang it. You don't even need this bitch. 
If, you, well, no, if you you're just doing straight lines, you cut with that deep in. You make your straight line. You know what this is for? You know what, Josh? You know what this is for? Outlets this and switches. Is, outlets, outlets, switches, and and hi hats. The lights. That's so. That's it. Well, if you're really, you know what you can, you know what you can use for that shit is a Dremel. You can get a hole Dremel's saw. Even better for the hi hats, you get a big hole saw. Put it on a drill. Done. No, you. Well, you can get the. You know those Dremels. Yeah, I do. I have a. I have one right here. You you can just like you put you put your box in right, Josh. Yeah. And you just and then you just go right around it. I mean, you mean this guy? Yeah. There you go. You can cut hi hats out with that. You could fucking you could cut oh, you could carve pumpkins. Wait wait till you know someday, Josh. Someday when you have like a little man, like yeah. in the future, like way in the future, you could carve out like pumpkins. For Halloween with the Dremel, and have a great time making funny faces, and mm. you know that that's a crazy level. I don't know what you would use that for, but it has a magnet. It sticks right to the wall, right above the computer. Yeah, well, check this out. What, what do you know about this one? Double, two sizes. Well, we, we don't got, use we those. Got the nine millimeter. We got a ten millimeter. As a carpenter, we don't use those, but that you know that's cool. And oh, Josh, I got another one. Josh, I got something for you. How about this right here? I have that hanging on the wall. I was just going to pick it up, but I got lazy. Oh, and, and you got your little level, your little bubble. Oh, fuck yeah, you do. Let me sh let me show you how oh. these things hang in this house. Start moving it around. <laughs> what do you know about these? All right, those are those are carport. You, you want to fix a car? Car? No. I've never touched these with a car. Okay, never let me ask you something. How many houses... Or buildings have you built with those? I have those are Allen keys, that. homie. They're Allen keys. Son, they throw the 3D printers in the shit. The shit that needs to be my money. Oh, okay. I, I apologize. This is how to be a man. It's yeah, not make about building houses. I apologize. Well, right behind there. Oh. Stanley. Stone chisel. Stan. 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 <laughs> Stan, you, got, you gotta be able to do the masonry work. Stan, Stan, I signed an autograph on your starter hat. <laughs> no, you did. Let me ask you now, what Josh, what's up. Let's see what oh, oh, Josh, look at this. We got a nice, we, we got a nice file. Oh, it's got, I don't got any it's got like a nice rasp on it. It's got like a nice like finish. It's like you know, so like if if you gotta like, you know, like ch -ch -ch -ch, like on your two buff. The, the two befores or mm. you know and, and you gotta like file something oh and look what else we got you want you want to do some brick work let's do some brick work i just want to show you the, the cold chisel set oh josh i got chisels i got wood chisels i got cold chisels i got that. chisel chisels uh well see i get josh i got a whole set of you know, like wood chisels, and you can't even use a banging hammer on them. You got to use a mallet. Word. Because you fuck chisels up. I'm wondering where oh, the fuck they are now. Now, <laughs> anybody that's gonna do any work, Josh, if you're gonna do any work in your house, I you have to get one of these. They're hey, not hey, expensive. Hey, 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 is that what you're talking about? No, well, that's for giving people tattoos. No, but, that's a chisel Josh, set. So I'm not for tattoos. Josh, what? everybody needs one of these. What's that? If you're going to be doing any work at a your house. Bar? Yeah, you need one of them. Like, like this is your, like, this is your, like, popping nails. This oh, yeah. is, you know, um, it, it, this, this is a blue bar. It used to be blue, but it's not blue anymore. It's a blue bar. Um. But if you're going to be doing any demolition work or, or, or redoing your kitchen or... You mean you this? Know, let me see. Your, yeah, that's it, Josh. But yours is a little more different than mine. I got the fancy one. But yeah, like that's perfect, man. That's perfect. And I, you, and you, come on, fuck with me. All right, what else we got? Oh, <laughs> you're going to need one of these when you're doing your kitchen. I'm not running out to the garage, but it's in the garage. You're going to need, you know, and you're probably going to need two of these because if you want to do uh, a firewall, you got to use a different color. 
Well, see, what, I, what I'm thinking here is the old lady, she wants to dishwash or wants to be a spend all the money on expensive stuff. I'm thinking of just going and stealing a whole bunch of milk crates from behind a deli and fucking zip screwing them to the wall. And yeah, there's, and there's then, your cabinets. There you go, Josh. And then all you got to do is just like, you know, uh, and then you just find like cat, like the, 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 uh, the, 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 you know, the, the cabinet fucking doors. Hmm. So you spend like 50 bucks on cabinet doors and you got milk crates and then you're like you have these beautiful cabinet doors and then just like milk crates. It's just going to hold your shit, right? I don't care what it looks like. Shit, man. You know what you can do is you can build an outhouse for her. I have, so I have your bathroom. I have there this you go. where I want to open up this. There's this wall between the living room and the kitchen and I want to open that up and put a counter there. Now, is it a load bearing wall? I want to say a point and it has to be because it's right down the center of the house. Well, we're going to have to put a a beam up there, dude. And I you're going to like, the dude, thing is, gonna... I already believe there's a beam there. No, we're going to have to put like if you tear down a load bearing wall, you got to put a beam up, dude. No, it's no, not. Oh, no. It's... This is where it is. There's already a door there and it goes to a wall. So I know there's a beam right there. I'm thinking of leaving that post in right there. Not getting rid of that doorway, just leaving it there and just open up. What are you gonna put it like a a a column, like a lolly column up there? Dude, you cannot tear down a load bearing wall. No shit, I'll tear the fucking house down. I'm not stupid. No, but I think there's a beam there that holds stuff between. You think? You think? Well, I'd have to open up the wall to look. I I don't know. I have to. You have to go up in the attic. You have to go up in the attic and see the way the fucking the shit's laid out. You know, like, where's the too. beams? Where's the? Yeah, I could do that. I forgot. See, that's how I run the electrical wires. I was up in the attic looking. See, Josh, you need me to come over your house for a weekend, and we could talk about it. You know, you say, "Okay, Joker." Uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, I know yeah, you're stupid, on. but just go in my attic with all the spiders and bats and snakes and ghosts, and tell me what's up there. And I'll be like, "Okay," and Have I'll go up there, and I'll be like. Did I tell you about the time that the snake crawled up the side of the house, the big black one? I saw it. You didn't have to tell me about it. I I saw it. a picture of it? No, you put it on a fucking (laughs) video, a DNN video. You're like, oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, not (laughs) a video? I don't know if you did, but, like, I I know I saw it. You might have taken a picture, but listen, man, a little snake like that, that, that doesn't mean shit to me. He still scared the fuck out of me. That's a stupid pussy snake. That's a gorgeous. That, 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 <laughs> listen, they're cold. There no like, there's only two poisonous snakes that live up near you, and they ain't living in your property. Ooh. Maybe a copperhead. There's head. rattlesnakes, brother. There's rattlesnake then right up the mountain. Yeah, yeah but you, that wasn't no rattlesnake. And Jersey, so like Jersey, we had rat. Like listen, and like because you know I'm a man, and Jersey, we had rattlesnakes and we had copperheads, and I'm sure yeah. you got copperheads too, but. When I was working in this hairdo salon, all I was doing was like washing hair and making crank calls and having the police get, you know, calling up my manager and yelling at me. Um, and all these baby snakes were in there and the girls started stomping them. Ah, and I said, don't stop. And I started collecting them, right? <laughs> and I had them like, and I just kept picking them up and throwing them in the, like running outside, going across the street, throwing them in the bushes, picking more up. It sounds like the- fucking the pee we heard. Listen, listen, I didn't know what the fuck they were. And then I told my butt, I was like, yeah, man, these little snakes. And they were like yellow. And he goes, dude, those were fucking copperheads. If they bit you, you could have died. Because like little baby, the baby snakes, like the baby copperheads are like 10,000 times more poisonous than adults. And I had like four of them, five of them in my hand at a time. And I'm like... (laughs) That's something you don't do. You know what? No, that's what a man does. A man knows how to identify the risks too. The man, a man says, "Don't step on these little baby snakes." No, you get a that's broom and a dustpan. Get a broom and a dustpan. Scope the fuckers up. I right, fuck that dustpan. I kept picking them up and putting them in my hand, man. Like you know what? You went no, home and I, your look, pocket listen, there. listen. A few of those snakes lost their lives that day. Because these ladies were stepping on them and crunching them. And if I had to lose my life to save them, 
I was willing to do it. Because you Come know on, what? Fucking like American hero, buddy. Fuck that actually that's that man does. But bro, that, that didn't look like, that kind of looked like we did Nazi salutes. No. That was a, that was an American salute. Right? That's what I was doing. Well, the Boy yeah, Scout salute was like two fingers. Was it the Boy Scout salute? Yeah, the Boy Scout salute was two fingers. This salute, like I don't know, that's my left side. I, I just I imagine you're just going Rambo and you're just all one body motion just going like that. Listen, man, if I had to lose my life to save some snakes that could and live another day, it's cool with me, man. I'm cool with it. Would you hope they bit somebody? Uh, well, you know, yeah, of <laughs> course. But, you know, if, if they said, look, Joker, thank you for saving us, but we're going to kill you now. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm, I'm sorry you lost your little brothers and sisters. It, with these scumbag broads crunching them like you can't be crunch like uh, crunching snake oh josh one time i got super duper i was working a shop right like overnight where they lock you in you know like like the and you know you get there at 10 o'clock at night and they lock the doors and you could wow. be on fire burning to death and ain't nobody gonna save you and uh so me and this one dude we got super high in the milk cooler yeah, you know, and like you know when you're just like just like blazed out and you're like really high and you're at work and everything's yeah. just like oh so this one like I was kind of new and this one guy comes over and goes, Oh, okay, I'm gonna help you. And he picks up one of the boxes. I believe it was Clamato, if I'm not mistaken. And there was a bunch of dead mice in the box, and he like like the bottles that they were all broken like they were all leaked out and broken and they smashed and he was like oh no and he like like took two steps and squished these dead mice and they heard him crunch and all this like blood and guts went squishing and i was like oh i'm super high and that's a bummer <laughs> you know <laughs> like i really didn't want to see that being like super duper high dude you know yeah. like that bummed me out <laughs> that, that, ain't, that ain't man shit. That ain't man. Well, listen, you gotta be a man and accept it and finish the day's work. You know what I'm saying, Josh? Let me ask you this question. What do you know about that? Tidy bowl man. Tidy bowl man. Tidy bowl. It's Premium. The wood bowl. What wood glue? Josh, do you think I could read words? Do you, do you think that like words like I can understand like when they put letters in front of each other like I know what it means? You're I don't the know how to know. right now. Men know how to read for themselves. Like I just say stuff, and sometimes I'm like right with the words, and sometimes I'm wrong. <laughs> Josh, do you think I graduated high school on my smarts, or do you think I graduated high school on my because I was like a sports hero? I didn't think you graduated <laughs> high school. <laughs> Josh, when, 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 I was taking, when I was taking my final exams as a senior, the teachers gave me the exams and they were filled out just enough that I could pass. I, I you know, like, I was just like, uh, I don't know. And my sister was real smart and they liked my sister and I was a sports hero. And so the teachers were just like, yeah, I, I didn't. I, sh I you know what? Because I sh like I went to school, like I showed up, and it didn't. Well, I did cause a lot of trouble, but I kind of kept myself protected because I was like a sneaky motherfucker, and like I would get my butt. Like I was like the Charles Manson of the school. Like I would get everybody to cause, like you know, murder people or do whatever, <laughs> and I would just sit back and not do nothing. And just smile. Oh, okay. So all my buddies would be like in detention, and, and I was the one that caused it, that started it, and and <laughs> talked them into it. And I was. Did, did any start in shop class? Uh shop class. I was cool in shop class because, uh, you know, like I I started working construction at twelve. So yeah. by the time I was in high school in shop class, I was I was like, what do you want me to do? You want me to build you a house? What? You know, there you go, man. There you go. That's a nice clamp. 
What you know? What you know about C clamps of various sizes? Shit! What you know about the C clamps that you have to like crank with both hands? The the, the big wooden ones that you got to oh, turn with that? both hands. Those are outside. This is the biggest one here. There you go, man. I love so clamps. See, Josh, you know what you have to do is you have to have like a little. I used to have like a, a a shop in my garage, right? A man shop. It was a guitar shop. Like we built guitars. What's this? You're speaking of the guitar. Hey, hey, you're speaking of the guitar shop. What's this? That's a truss. What's this? Another truss. <laughs> uh, there's a couple more in there, but you know, you, you got a you got a shop. You got the trusses around. Did you know I knew what it was? <laughs> yeah. I, well, you should have. What, do you want a fucking cookie for knowing what it was? No, I want a blowjob. That's what a man wants. A man doesn't want a cookie. A man wants a blowjob. Exactly. Or a mouth cover. If you got to be nice, it's staying around, the, you know, the family. The mouth cover. You know, men men don't eat cookies. <laughs> you know, like, like what do you... Uh, Men eat like red hot, you know, the like they, they eat like hot spicy shit, chili and fucking burgers, not cookies. I'm having burger slenders the last few nights. You know what the ultimate man meal is? A steak, burgers. a potato, and a, a steak and a potato. Oh, yeah, and a burger. Oh, okay, the appetizer is a burger. That's your appetizer. Slenders. Sliders, yeah, and then, big tray of sliders. Yeah, asparagus, whatever, which sucks. It tastes like somebody pissed, you know. No, fuck that. Get, get you some broccoli and cheese with them potatoes. Yeah, give me some broccoli, man. I like the broccoli. And cheese on it. Broccoli yeah, with cheese. cheese you know. Uh, but a man meal is a big, juicy, delicious steak with a big and the best part about or a pile of mashed potatoes. The best part about that steak is you got to go to the fanciest joint in town, get like a hundred dollar steak, and then have the chef present it to you. And when it comes out, you got to ask it, "Yo, can I get a <laughs> one?" Oh, he'll punch you in the face. He'll go like that's this. what that's what you got to have. You got to go ask. I don't give a fuck what you got that steak. Give me a one, bitch. Yeah, but a you one. know what? You know what men like? A one. Baseball. I don't like baseball. Well, you're not a man. Well, I don't like watching it. I like playing it. And I got nobody well, playing it. Josh, let me tell you something. If I was at your house and you, like, made me mad and you turned around, I would take this baseball and whiz it 100 miles an hour at the back of your head. <laughs> That's what a man and, does. And I would shoot you with a pirate gun. Well, you know what? I, I could probably only throw, like, 40 miles an hour. So it would just, like, it would, like, plink off your head and you'd be like, oh, a mosquito bit me? I'm like, no, Josh. I threw the thing. <laughs> what you know about this? I know that that needs some strings. Josh, you know what would be great? Josh, you have to invent a man guitar, which is just a neck. Oh, yeah. Pickups. Nothing else. It's a neck with, like, pickups. Boop, 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 boop. Let me know. Let me ask you what you know about this. Hmm. That's like a, like a bamboo rod or something. Fiberglass, actually. Okay. Do you know what it's for? It's for snake and wires. I can I can dig it. I so, like, man, it. what I did was I lined up. I did my measuring, and I found the bay that all three bedrooms were in. And I started right. one bedroom, cut a hole in the ceiling, started the second, cut a hole in the ceiling, started the third, cut a hole in the ceiling. I just fed that fucking thing through it. Tied this fucking wire to one end, went to one, pulled it, pulled it, pulled it, pulled, it, pulled some out. Oh, pulled yeah, it, pulled it, pulled it. I know what you're saying, man, because we I, I, we didn't use a fancy stick like you got, but there was always, like, you know, something. And I'd have yeah. to, like, pull it through, and I'm like, <laughs> Stupid fucking metal snake. I hate that fucking thing. You know what I got to do, Josh? As a man, and I just found my wrench, I have to take apart my sink because the shit doesn't drain right. It don't fucking drain. It hasn't drained right since I moved in here. Have so you tried stabbing it? 
No, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my monkey wrench and I'm gonna fucking take the bottom <laughs> pipe off and I'm gonna see what's going on in there. You know, there might be a bunch of gook. Them, I, I don't know what's going on. It doesn't drain right. And the shower doesn't drain right. And uh, that's right above me. And I don't know what to tear apart for the shower, but that's no big deal. You know, I, I don't really care about that. But, like, my uh, sense, like, The easiest thing to do? Stop showering. Well, Josh, I, I take a shower like like a man only when I have to go to the doctor. Exactly. Because if I go to the doctor and don't take a shower, I'll get in trouble. Like, oh, you're all filthy. I'm like, of course. And then, but you don't know me by only, now. That's the only day you wash your clothes too, as well. Shit, man. You know what? I'll take a shower and put on the same clothes I've been wearing the whole month. I don't care. I've been, I've been, wearing, the, I've been wearing this shirt for three months. I've been wearing this shirt because, let's see. Oh, what does it say? Oh, dirty bastard is dirty and stinking. How can I not wear my old dirty bastard shirt every day until it's my birthday? <laughs> Your birthday's tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Oh, nice. How old are you? 90. Bullshit. I was born in 1942. No, you weren't. Yep. I look good, right? No. Uh, actually, Josh, I am a grown ass middle aged man. But you wouldn't mm. know it. You wouldn't know it. That's because you ain't losing your hairy. Look at that. Oh, boy. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh, listen. Before we, we, before we quit the stream, we got to get on the other tools, man. What else okay, what tools? What do you know about me? This is one tool, Josh. Now, okay. Oh, you gotta have your ten snips. You need your ten snips. You know what? You need more than one ten snip. Two. You need your lefty and your righty. I used to have the red and the yellow, son. You need. You know what? You need more than fucking two ten snips. You got the green. You got the green. Uh, you got the green. I no. told you. I told you. No, black, <laughs> black, red, and yellow. That's for Germany. Okay, well, that's not green, but no. I knew what you're talking about. Now, Josh, do you want to see a tool, one tool that every man needs, no What's matter that? whether you're in your car, whether you're in your basement, in your workshop? This tool right here. Oh, the blowtorch? You, just need you to never work. know when you gotta like light something on fire or just burn something. What about this? Ooh, that's one of them little tiny uh, little snap before. things. Now, Josh, I think for the end of the stream, how to be a man? We take a last sip of beer and we show them how to use a torch. Um, I'm out of the stuff. You could show them, but I'm out of the stuff to use it to show them. What. Oh, I mean, are you a faggot? A little Gee, bit. As a, man, as a man, you could call somebody a faggot. I'm oh, gonna put, so. I'm going to put on my... Oh, my so. Hey, Confucius say... Oh, so, 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 so. I'm going to put on my glasses and my safety. All right. And I'm going to watch show, it. I'm, I'm going to show these, like, like, wannabe, trying to be... How to be a man followers. Let me tell you something, boys. I'll show you how to be a man. You listen to me and Josh. The shit we've been through. Shit, man. Construction sites. Fucking way up on the building. Fist fights with no fucking walls. You can fucking fall off the edge of the building. Fucking elevator holes that make you fall down. Shit, man. We've been through it all. What? Get locked up. Hey, how much time you done in the back of a squad car, folks? That's a man experience. Being in the yeah. back of a squad so car. Our, our That's future a man episode, experience. What, what are our future episodes going to be about? We did a little shop talk about the little Phillips versus Flatheads. We got to do a bit time in the back of a car. Um, what else do we got? 
Oh, Your job. What, what, what jobs we worked? Because yeah, if you work some plus jobs, you don't count. You know? Man jobs. Uh, we could talk about um, little children's. Listen, man, I've been around the little children's, and I've been supporting the little children's. Well, the Wu Tang. The Wu Tang is for the children. Uh, where's the camera? Uh, I can't find my. Oh. For the children's Wu Tang is for the children, and that's what we do, man. You got a Wu Tang. This motherfucker rolls in a Wu Tang hat, a Wu Tang hat. What you know about a Wu Tang hat? Okay, this is what a man does with a torch. Okay, let's see it. I'm now, safe here. Now, Josh, we have to talk about. You know, uh, fireman shit. Like, like, when a car's on fire, when a house is on fire, when the Jews are running around. Uh, you know. Well, we could share a great, you know, I was at a fire very recently in this very heavily Jewish town. I've never seen so many people in my whole life before. We'll, just, we'll leave it at that. We'll save that for another time. The street's going crazy. You saw, in the, you seen the pictures? They were in the streets. See, the, the heavily Jewish town, they don't have TV. So when something exciting happens, they're going to go watch it. It's exciting, you know? Just what it is. Imagine being like it's in the 1930s and like New York City or something, the kids growing up and nothing's going on, something happens, they roll around and watch. Right? Josh, I, I lived around the Jews. Um, the ones that, uh, they're not the Hasidic. But the Orthodox, where they walk around on Saturdays, and they used to block off the streets, and you'd be trying to get a beer, and all the cops are in the streets blocking it off because the Jews are everywhere. And you're like, that's cool, man. You know, no big deal. But, uh, you know, my buddy wanted to ride around. He wanted to rent, like, some kind of German car because he kind of looked like Hitler. Like, if he parted his hair a certain way, like, he would just look and, – and, he wanted me to dress up in an SS uniform and he was going to dress up and just like go around like waving to the Jews, but we didn't think it was a good idea. That, that probably isn't the best idea. Well, what we wanted to do in high school was... I'm not going to say it's a bad idea, but it's probably not the best. What we wanted to do in high school was because I had like long hair like uh, my senior year and I looked like Jesus because I was like about... A hundred, I was like 95, 100 pounds with like long, luxurious hair. And my buddy goes, Hey, man, I'm going to dress up as a Roman and you dress up as Jesus on a cross and I'll walk around whipping you. Like, nice. And, and we were going to do it, but one of the teachers caught wind and they said, If you do it, you boys will be suspended. Check this out. Uh oh. Freezing. There we go. You there? Yeah. Can you see what I'm showing you? Yes, I can. Doesn't this look silly? Is Two Jewish stuff? boys, they dress up as African Americans for Purim, a Jewish festival. Eh, well, that's not man stuff. stuff. That's not man yeah, stuff? That, that's not man stuff. That's stupid stuff. I it was just, it just popped up when I was looking for the man stuff. I yeah, that, that 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 that's old channel stuff. This is man shit. We don't do old channel shit. Josh, it's gonna be hard, man. It's gonna take us a couple weeks to, you know, adjust to the new channel. Yes, yeah, it's get, very get the old channel. You know what I'm saying? It because we were so fucking deep in the old channel, but now it's a new dawn. It's a new mm. day. It's a new light. It's a new era. Can, and, can I uh, talk to you about the tweezers that I have here? Yeah, man. First. Second pair. Oh, those are First. like surgery tweezers. Look, look at this gripper one. Shit, man. You could be pulling bullets out of motherfuckers with them. Look at this one. Oh, Josh. You know what we got to do? How to be a man, like how to cook a steak, how to cook burgers. Men, mm. cook like 
I, I've seen what you cook with your Kobe beef and shit. Come mm. on, man. You know, we could do a Kobe beef episode. A whole episode on Kobe beef. I can't be letting people know I'm eating Kobe beef, though. It sounds too rich. L listen. Ain't nobody knows what Kobe beef is except for me and you. That's true. Oh, can I show you something else, man? You know what? You know what? Kobe? You know what Kobe beef is? Kobe Bryant from the L.A. Lakers has his own sandwiches, and that's what you get. Hey, Joker. This is something else you should have right here. See this tool that locks? Oh, I know what they are. That's some surgery shit where you could like lock it on somebody's fucking titty and go. Bleh, you better shut up. <laughs> When you're doing like the soldering and stuff, and you got things to hold, you got to hold small things together. That helps hold them together. Yeah, see, I got a big problem with my hands shaking. So my soldering skills are like. Pfft. Look at this. Oh, it's not on. That's why. Look at that dirty fat tip. That tip's way skinnier than that, usually. That's what she said. Hi, yo. Rock solid. <laughs> Rock solid. That's good stuff. Do you know what also you gotta have if you do the soldering? You gotta have that extra tips, my man. Brand new in a package, never opened. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh, that's the cores. Excuse me, that's the heater. Where are the tips? Uh oh, I got new cores. Where are the tips, my man? Hold on, we gotta find these real quick. Because it ain't good if we don't have these. See, it's good. We're doing this. We're doing like an inventory real quick, you know? And it's a man inventory. It's a good inventory to do. Hold on. I got tips, but I don't know if they're used or not. I, I, when tips? tips do... Oh, no. Solder tips. Oh, oh yeah. okay. I thought you had man. receptacle tips. No, no, no. Look at that. That's a nice tip. Oh, shit. You can get in there. With the you got to. When you do get what I do. Get in there with the heat. You, you got to bring any, that, Josh. Boy, when you're making the electronics, you got to be able to do that, you know? Josh, and, 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 and when you when you putting new pickups into a guitar, you got to get that shit on point. With the solder, into the electronics. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. But that's that's a story for another day. Oh, excuse me. Uh, it was had to be a man. I was conducting some business. I'd ask some questions. Well, that's cool. There ain't nobody watching us, so it's good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You gotta do that because we got we got the successful. We're selling all this wood. But you, wood. you know what the best is, Josh? It's like we're doing this, having a great time, and nobody knows it. <laughs> nobody knows what we're doing, and yeah. there's a lot of people that would want to see what we're doing, but they can't. Because they don't know it. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, no. This is the wrong one. Oh, check this out. Oh, I don't want to give away some info, but... Oh. Can I show that? Nah. nah uh, wanna... Look at that. Can you see that? 180. Uh, for a piece of... I do such a good job at making designs in this wood. You see that? Well, did did you see like the uh, jersey? He's got like some. Him and his brother put up some channel, and they put the thing up with the. It looks like a beer bottle with the beer caps, and he does like little chess piece or little uh, tic tac toe pieces and shit. You'd have did to you send me. That? A I never seen it. Oh, you commented on one of the things. I Did I really? That. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of things that I don't remember, to be honest with you. My brain is... Oh, I, I got to I gotta find out what they're doing because, you know, whatever they're doing, you could do it better. And uh, do, those boys are good hookups, man. The Rico boys are good hookups. Um, uh. Jesus's fucking fatso father-in-law. He's got the contract with Walmart, and he does the dumbest shit I ever seen in my life. He'll oh, take a man. picture. It, it, it's terrible. 
buddy, we actually got a question in the, in the chat about some fucking technical stuff. Okay. So, Josh, are you still happy with the Glowforge? The Glowforge laser etcher that was $3,500 was an overpriced piece of shit. I have this K40 right here. Right there, that thing cost 300 bucks. I have put, I have the camera arriving in two or three days, so I want to say I put maybe 500 bucks in upgrades to it with software and everything I need. It's the same as the fucking Glowforge, except the Glowforge, it gives you with material. It tells you exactly power what to use. That's pre-programmed settings. So you press a button, so it's like, oh, it knows wood. It knows only to go to this certain, you know, amperage, put it out so it doesn't burn it. This you have to figure out on your own. The thing is, I figured it out. It's not that hard. You take material and you test it. You make little test cards. You burn it at the different powers. You see what it does, and then just make it how you need it. It's not fucking hard. It's going to save you fucking $2,700. So fuck Little Forge. I return that thing. I use that. I bought that bitch from Amazon Prime. I used it for the 45 days Amazon Prime and let me use it. I return it. I got a full refund. I didn't pay for any shipping. I got free shipping to me, and I had free return shipping. Fuck it. Because it's a piece of shit. Don't buy it. It is, it is a piece of shit. And the worst part is you have to have internet connection. If you lose internet, you can't use a machine. It's dead. Have to have it. Period. They were supposedly going to release the software that we're going to let you use it offline. They never did, though. Yeah, but the, what's, the, like, what, what's the point of, like, okay, well, uh, the, no, you have to buy it. And then if you want to use it offline, you have to buy the software. Well, there isn't even a software stuff. you can buy to use it offline. It doesn't exist. You can't. Period. So if the company goes bust, you're fucked. You have to use their site. Well, well, well that's like. You know, like if you like those like uh those those products on TV and you could buy like a special like juicer and I say like, you get a lifetime guarantee. Yeah, but the company's going mean, out of business in a year. A lot, <laughs> yeah, yeah. How to be a man real quick, how to be a man shit. Get lifetime guarantees. I, I, I give lifetime guarantees for my products. Yeah, until I take his life. Uh, they, they don't mean shit. Lifetime guarantees don't mean shit, so don't buy something based off of that. Unless it's an old, reputable dealer. Like some well, you know what? You know what? Like Sears like the used to give you a lifetime guarantee. So if you had a fucking wrench that you busted, you could bring oh, it in. Oh. Let me finish my, they, let me they, finish they stopped my doing that. Oh, yeah. Let me finish my rant about Glowforge real quick. And also the best part is they try to sell you the materials and the designs to use, and they overcharge the fuck out of it. So it's like, oh, you they put they put it on their email list. Oh, look at this box you can make. Go on their site, twenty two bucks to buy like a shitty one dollar piece of shit box design. It's it's not worth it. It's just it, if you want to put some effort and learn your machine and learn how to laser stuff and like really know how to do stuff. Because once you kind of know how to laser stuff, you can see and see shit exact same fucking thing. There's the only difference is you gotta put some, you gotta fucking have a bit instead of a laser. You gotta learn the speeds for the cutting. Same shit, the exact same fucking thing. Well, Josh, what would you suggest for somebody that wants to start out doing it? Like buy a cheap one or like a mid-range one? What I would suggest is you get you one of these. This is a 400 This isn't even CNC. This is a little mini mill. It's a hand crank one. Learn how the mill works. Don't even try to worry about a computer. Computer shit's easy if you were born like in the last fucking 40 years. It's not hard. Get you a mill and learn how to actually mill shit and how, like you'll see the speeds. There's labels on there. Learn you that, and then you could go get the cheap little piece of shit, fucking 100, 200 dollars CNC one from fucking China. It's a little frame you put together. You can't go hard on it, but you want to go harder, you can buy the big one. Where do you get those? You get them off like, like online, like Amazon or something, or go to, yeah, you go. To, I, Amazon don't really sell that shit anymore because people like me probably, but fuck. <laughs> You go to like Alibaba or eBay, you can get a whole bunch of them, like kits for fucking 100, 200, 300 bucks. So, so somebody that like wants to start out doing it, you suggest they get the handheld thing or like whatever and learn like whatever, like the basics, right? Like that, that's like yeah. the basics of it. And then buy like a, 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 a kind of low end machine and, le and le I guess learn the basics of that. Well, if you want to get silly with this prox on where the hand cranks are, where this is, it's a sturdy little fucking machine. It looks like 400 bucks. You can just put fucking stepper motors right on this bitch. You don't even have to buy that. Buy stepper well, motors. Now, what, now, what what can you do with that thing? It, you know what it looked like? A drill press to me. Like It's drill press. 
but it holds shit. You can move it back, but it's precision. So you would you would have to have a piece of what clay, plastic, like whatever you want there. I use it. Um, actually, I can't tell you that because I don't give away how I mix them approximately. But like, okay, so so let's say I wanted to do something on that. Like, what what would you say? Like, okay, well, get, you know, like I have that little machine that I got to hand crank. In, in its description, it's described as for jewelry making. In its description, so, like, so what? Like, like I could get like a chunk of wax. Yeah. Because I, I remember, like, I, I took a jewelry making class in high school because all the chicks were in that class. And we used to get these wax rings, and you would just, like, put the shit on it, and you'd have a ring. Yeah. Um, but I'm just curious, like, uh, like, is it, like, you say you can get anything you want, but where do you get it, and what do you get? Like, you can't put, like, a rock on there and start, like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you can. Just go fucking slow and steady. Don't go deep when you make a cut. Go very, very light on top and just skim it. You might have to throw some water on it so the dust doesn't go everywhere. Josh, can you show it again? Can, can I get a look at it? I, I, I don't understand like what the machine is. Oh, it's a very, very simple machine. That's that's the whole thing. That's what I told you. You just should get this first. Oh, is it plugged in? I don't want to have it plugged in. No, don't plug it in. Don't worry about it. I just want to like just show me like what it looks like and oh, show me how it operates. Can you see it? Oh yeah, there you go. So you got your clamp there. All yeah, right. You a piece right in the middle here, and then this can go up or down, and then you got you know forward, backwards. Shit, that, that, that that's left, like one of them right. like old high school. It looks like one of them high school shop machines. Yeah, it's it's, use, it's a very simple machine, but it's precision to cut shit. So you you learn how to now, like you learn how to. Okay, I learned how to cut this and that. So how does that translate into using the compute, like the the CNC machine? Do you have to like? So you, the really the, the adapting thing is always finding your zero point. So you pick a piece, uh, you pick one point on the machine that you're always going to start your bit from. Every time you get a machine, you always want to pick where you're going to start your bit from. Like, right. like if you keep it to the, I, every machine I do, which is most people, you do it to the front left hand corner. Just go, I go in an inch and fucking right an inch. That's all I do, in and right. Start that, that's for every time. That way, if you fuck up and it gets off balance, you go start the machine right in the same place again. You run your program and you don't fuck your piece up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, now, another question I have is in relation to like using like being online and using computer and losing using like blueprints can you put in like w like prints of what you want your you know your, your piece to look like um like what i'm saying is if you want to do like let's say you want to do a george washington head um how would you with your computer and your printer like do you do you like put in a picture or, or um like a, a a scan of the dimensions of george washington's face and and all that or so like how the easiest thing to do would be take a picture of george washington's face and then you import it into the modeling software and you just start picking lines first you want to pick your line that the outline of his head that's the main outline right Start the lines. Then you go pick the lines for his hair, so you can make them different heights. Pick the lines for his eyes. Pick, you know, you just pick different lines. It's that's a man. That's a man burp. Yeah, that's burp. a man burp. So you start making your layers, and then once you have all your layers kind of fine, you can start rounding them off. Okay, so wait, like, 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 um, we'll we'll put this practically. When you did Donald Trump on the dildo. Mm -hmm. How did you get Donald Trump's face and the fucking cock to print? That that actually was an easy one because there's certain uh, there's all existing on the internet. You don't even have to make them. So I download okay. a picture of the cock. I download the file of the cock. I download a picture of Trump's head. I put them exactly in the center of the machine. They were right on top of each other. And all I did was lower his head right onto the cock until the tip disappeared. Now, now, now are, are you looking at a grid? Like when you do that, like you know, yeah. like. Uh, 
because you you know like when you when you do these pictures and pixels and and stuff yes. on the computer that they, they give you a grid and so yeah. you can move yeah. things like i mean within like you know like d- 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 um so it was, that easy. it was that easy as just downloading a couple pictures and smashing them together that's it a lot of things are that easy it's, and even like you could 3d print simple shit there's a lot of stuff i've printed a lot of uh, things for the fire truck actually for tagging wow. tools just tool years it comes out solid as fuck they're heavy man like if you feel this you'd be like this is fucking printed no 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 could you print let's say could you print a, a replica of the fire truck that you guys drive in and then like paint it up or or, or, or do whatever and then if somebody paid me the money to sit and model it yes i'm not just no, gonna say like but i'm just saying like you could do that like yes, you could make a replica of your actual fire truck you could make a replica then, like, of your face and 3d print it out so you could make like a a joker fish hulk hogan style humongous wrestling face guy like with muscles shooting out of my so the right, right price yes no well i i ain't paying you shit, but i'm just saying you know <laughs> theoretically <that> would... <laughs> yeah the only thing i would pay you for is for a glass of oj if you know what i'm saying you got you got to be able to make your stuff man so yeah, it's very you, important. Know, you know you know what's great is that and th- this is another topic is that well, uh, uh i have to change some filament on my 3d printer i'm gonna, I'm gonna try to angle the computer maybe you can see it okay can you 3d printer right there yes i can all right so the filaments are on now because i'm i know i'm gonna forget because i've been drinking so i'm just gonna swap it now so what I like to do, I like to keep an extra roll of filament, like it's a little half ran out one right above. It. It's a little spare thing of filament right here, right above it. So well, now, Josh, when you, when you buy the out. filament, are they spools? They're spools. So I, I just cut the one filament that went into the printer because there ain't enough left to finish the print. And I'm going to stick this other Oh, fuck, there ain't much of this one either. I'm going to stick this one in there. And all it is, it's like, it's like stick a weird weed lacquer, eh, weed whacker on. Oh, okay, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. You just want to stick that in right behind that one. I hope there's enough to finish the job out. It's going to be close. How long has that been going? Uh, each one of these pieces takes about nine hours. That's not too bad. I heard the one took you like 60 hours <laughs> so what i'm making like i've got these perfected for mass production i sell a lot of them right on man now how so, many of those printers how many of those printers can you have going at once right now i have four of these printers making the exact same thing going. and those are the indoor printers yes and I the, outdoor the, print, the outdoor printers are for another another stream i i have i have the big i have the big one that just finished you know the job i was doing this to ours i just made that, this now josh can you tell everybody how many hours that was that was 60 hours 60 everybody 60 hours how many hours do you work a week people that was 60 hours and it don't even look like the real game. They are. Sir. They work twenty four seven. I leave these fuckers going to make me money. Yeah, but that doesn't even look like the real Jason. It doesn't. No. What's wrong with it? I don't know. <laughs> I thought the nose looked a little big. If you know what I mean. No, it looks great, man. I'm just teasing. It looks fucking great. I thought the nose looked a little big. Josh, I know all these like goth people and horror people, <laughs> so. When you start doing like horror stuff, which I'm gonna like, I am. Talk every to you about, fucking printer right now is doing Hellraiser cubes. Those lament. I know, figures. I know, but I want to <laughs> talk to you about some more horror stuff, and you know, because there's a big community out there that loves the murder and the horror. Oh, and, and the, uh, you've seen the LED panels I made? Yes, I did. Amazing. All gone. I just haven't had time to make more. 
You should make one of yourself naked doing a hula dance. Woo, woo, woo. That's what a man does. I don't a man know. dances the hula naked. I honestly don't know how to hula <laughs> Well, that's why you got to go to Hawaii Wow or whatever they call that. Go visit Bill and uh, do, the, do the hula. Wow, wow, look. Can I ask you a question? What do you know about this? What's that? A back scratcher? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a, like one of them Romax BX cables or yes, whatever. Oh, fucking Danny B's in the chat. He said his friend loved the Jesus kit he gave him for Christmas. The Jesus kits are fucking awesome. Awesome. Very, very cool. Very cool. I have a bunch of Jesus just hanging up dry. You know what? Easter's coming out. Easter. Yes. I should make a promotion for the Easter for the Jesus kids. I forgot. You no, know, I mean, like, you know, I haven't been eating meat on Fridays. I couldn't even eat no meat today. Today's Friday? I'm fucking having yeah, two cheese. I, I, two, uh, it's like two weeks till Easter, man. You got to push them Jesuses, man. Word? Yeah, Easter time, baby. Jesus has risen. He has risen. We got him. Look, G Jesus has, like, you know, a couple times a year. He's got the Christmas, but he's also got the Easter bunny. Oh, we got to start promoting that big time. I, I, I stayed Yeah, that. man, you got to pump that Easter shit. You got two weeks. We could do that. I should have told you. I should have opened my mouth. Uh, you kind of fucked up on that one, buddy. Yeah, I did, man. You know what? I'll forgive you. I, but I've been off point, dude. I, I've been off point. A little bit. I've been kind of fucked up lately, you know. Things in, you know, things in the real world kind of bum me out. You know what I'm saying. But you know what? A man rises up. Oh. <laughs> You gotta have the blow torch. Show them how it works. Yeah. Oh, mine's mine's out of fluid, I think. Oh, come on, man. You know what you gotta do? You gotta put it under some hot water. And you can get a blast out of it. We'll have to do that later. Oh, buddy, unless there's something else you want to add, we gotta call this quits because man gotta go take care of an old lady right now. Listen, man, that's what a man does. Mm. That's what a man does. So what you know what? We're gonna end it. With a cold beer for the working man. You got it. And ain't no jokes. You know, it's all about being a man. That's it. Cold beer for the working man. So, your questions ready? And goodbye.